morning guys welcome back to the channel isn't this the cutest thing ever <laughs> I can't believe it didn't sold it didn't sell quicker um, I bought this at Salvation Army although I do not remember what I paid for it it's been sitting online for maybe four months and finally sold on Etsy for $25 plus the cost of shipping next we sold a copy of 112263 for $10 plus the cost of shipping on Facebook marketplace read this book if you have it my favorite Stephen King book of all time next we sold this set of five drip glaze whole pottery they're like little dessert bowls I'm not entirely sure but they're tiny they're like five five and a half inches across they're not really used for cereal so I'm assuming dessert um, I'm actually gonna look at the stuff more closely when we're at auctions if there's a lot of it because uh, it's selling. Not for high dollar, but it's selling. $10 plus the cost of shipping on Facebook. Next, we have Stephen King's Nightmares and Dreamscapes, also sold for $10 on Facebook Marketplace. Super good timing. This literally just sold on Facebook Marketplace for $5 plus the cost of shipping. And I picked this up at one of the fill -a bag for $5 sales. So, it did pretty well. <laughs> I might think I'm already in profit from that sale. And uh, as of right now, this is the last thing we're boxing up. Yeah, well, I almost got out of here. Uh, I did already sell this. I was just having an issue with the address. Like, Etsy was not allowing me to print a label, but the lady who bought it confirmed the address, so I'm just going to write it on the package and upload tracking. Uh, $5 plus cost of shipping on Etsy. And for the newbies who haven't been with us long, welcome to our bus. This will be at some point the ultimate getaway machine it is going to be fully decked out solar panels the whole nine yards our tiny home on wheels I, I kind of love it but we've been putting off working on it because we've been pretty busy trying to pay bills so today we're gonna work on it also rich wants me to be held accountable apparently that my new year's resolution was to learn how to drive the bus and it's october I have not done that. But I can give you a tour of what our inside looks like currently and what we're doing today or what we're kind of continuing to do. These boards right here are cedar fence boards. Try to go buy cedar boards at all at Home Depot right now. Oh wait, they're extremely expensive. This <laughs> is a fence. Our old neighbor, when we lived at the farmhouse, took down his cedar fence and gave them to us, the boards to us. So what we've been doing is planing them down. You can see that's the side that we've planed. And that is going to be our walls and our ceiling. And uh, when we put our structure walls up, those will also be our structure walls. These here are floorboards um, are going to, these are actually really nice. Our friends redid their floors and these are their leftovers. I don't know if you guys can even see that. They're a little dusty, but oh my gosh, that was expensive flooring. That's going to be our floorboards. And the next thing we got to do is get the wiring and the um, heavy duty um, Insulation, that's the word I'm trying to say. The insulation and the wiring for the ceiling and the walls. It's a project, but uh, the weather is going to be awesome today. It's a great day to work on it. Uh, he just informed me that I'm driving the bus right now. Jeez and rice. I should not have flip flops on for this. Oh, but you got to check out my spooky socks. Halloween spooky socks. But uh, I'm gonna go put real shoes on. Okay, so that's not happening. No, we got brake fluid leaking from the front passenger side line. So the line from the junction box here in the center that comes from uh, the master cylinder where it branches off on the right hand side, the passenger side to the rubber hose that runs to the front uh, brake has a hole in it where it mounts to the frame with a bracket so water's collected there and rusted a hole and we got a small leak. You can tell. Brake 
electric fluid. Nice. So good thing we caught it before we pulled <laughs> Before out they put me behind the wheel and we found out we didn't have brakes. Since we can't drive it, we're just going to go back to the original plan. You can kind of see what we're doing here. Plan this is uh, just one. We're on, we're on our second run through. So you can see all this old weathered board is coming off and the very pretty cedar board underneath is being revealed. So that's, it kind of looks like fish scales. <laughs> it sort of reminds me of fish scales. So that's what we are doing instead of driving the bus. We jumped to another day because yesterday we pretty much just did bus stuff. We did get like five of those boards playing before we had to go get Keegan. Anyway, it's Thursday. It's raining like heck outside. So we're just going to do something a little different. Um, obviously, there's not, I think we're pretty much the end of garage sale season. So I think we're going to hit a bunch of thrift stores because I don't feel like listing anything. I'm just not in the mood. Charlotte's helping me. Bought this last year. I think it's like I don't know. I'm, it's got the butt flap. I'm pretty sure it's like a stocking, like a vintage 1960s style stocking. But the butt flap opens up. And I think that's how you put the stuff in the stocking. I, I thought it was adorable. And I didn't pay very much for it at all. I think I paid like $4 for it. Anyway, sold it on Etsy for $25 plus the cost of shipping. I'm selling the crap out of Christmas stuff right now, and it's the middle of October. So for all you peeps, start listing Christmas stuff. It's selling. Children of Blood and Bone picked this up at actually one of the thrift stores that I would like to go to today. I think I paid $1.50 for it because it's a hardcover. I might have paid two for it. I don't know. I do want to read this book. Um, so I listed it for 7 thinking that if it didn't sell... Then I would just read it when I got to it. But it did. It sold for $7 plus the cost of shipping on Facebook. And lastly is this freaking honking thing. Ignore the dogs. They're idiots. They're very, very cute. But they're not the smartest dogs on the planet. Rich closed the basement door. He went down to get boxes. And uh, they heard the door. Anyway. This honking thing. This needlepoint. And it's beauty must. I I cannot believe that people had the time to do this stuff. <laughs> this is freaking crazy to me. I bought it at Salvation Army. I think I paid like 10 bucks for it, but it might have been less. It might have been more. Uh, listed it for $95 plus the cost of shipping. Sold it on Etsy for $95 plus the cost of shipping. Although I will say Needlepoint is not the easiest thing for me to sell. I don't know. It just sits around. I have a few pieces listed and they just, they sit around for quite a while. I'm actually surprised I got 95 for this one. Jeez, look at everyone swarming the door. This is craziness. <laughs> I, I don't even want to be a part of swarming the door, but I am going to go inside and see what I can find. I was even on the phone, but I did find some like weird stuff. It is a wicker oyster shell. I, I don't know. I'm going to look that up. Rich found... Oh, oh, it's stuck. Rich found Stephen King for past midnight. I'm going to have him help me look at this to make sure there's no damage to it. I also found this, which I've been looking for, uh, which I'm excited about. We did pretty good at Salvation Army. Let's uh, try our look at Goodwill. That's funny. We just picked this up the other day. Wasn't he just super cute? He's got way damaged there, though. Oh my god, I have to update you guys. This, I'm, I don't even know, I don't even know how to explain this. Okay, so this red truck right here, in front of the red truck, is a guy with like one of those construction stop signs where it says sl slow on one side and stop on the other. I'm starting to think that this guy, there you oh. can see him. I, I think that guy just like found the flag on the side of the road because this is the most ridiculous thing I've, we've been following this guy walking down the road for what, 10 minutes? Probably. Like 10 minutes. Oh, now we're just gonna take up all the lanes. That was the really good Halloween costume. Goodwills were a bust. True story though, I always check the bottoms of these. I once found Tiffany and Company in the garbage. Two of them. Tiffany and Company, that's Princess House. Um, like glass paperweights, it was crazy. They went for like 50 to $75 a piece. Who always finds the weirdest stuff. That's actually kind of neat. It's probably like a souvenir from somewhere. Oh, it's busted. Why do they not have their lids? 
And they still want $23.99 without the lids. No, oh, thank you. Ooh, it's one of those, like, what the heck is it? I truly don't understand that at all. I guess it's got something to do with yarn. J.C. Anyone? Hackett and Company. J.C. Hackett and Company. A little button there. Wow. At least I found something worth looking up. It's a whole set of these peanut plates in the, like, box with all of the packaging. We're gonna take a chance. They're, uh, they're listing anywhere between 25 and 50. And, um, I don't trust eBay sold anymore because nothing comes up when you when you look something up or try to look something up, nothing pops up for me at least. So I'm gonna take a chance for seven bucks. It's the right time of year. Cool, made it home. I'll show you what we picked up. It's not a huge haul, but it is a haul nonetheless. A Stolen Life, the JC Dugard story. I was just watching part of her um, like documentary the other day and I was telling Rich, I'm like, oh, she wrote a book. I wish I could find that. And then sure enough, I found it today. So that for me is a keeper. I'm just about done with this book. Like, this one's pretty good. I have that much more to go. Like, I'm about done with it. Also got Four Past Midnight, which is a Stephen King book. I don't think I have this one listed. I know I have it in paperback, but I don't think I have it in hardcover, so I can probably get that listed pretty quickly. This set was worth looking up. Anything that's peanuts is pretty much worth looking up. Um, it's a set of four. We paid $7 for it. I think I'm going to list this for around... 30. I do have a little bit of an obsession with Snoopy. My old dog that uh, passed away a couple years ago, his name's Snoopy. He was a hound dog boxer mix. It was a very, very odd combo. But these are super cute and it's the right time of year to sell stuff like this. So it shouldn't last too long at $30 plus the cost of shipping. Um, they're all different. There's the last one. I thought they were pretty stinking cute. With the box and everything, um, obviously I'll show you once it sells, but yeah, I don't think they'll last too long for 30 plus shipping. Put all this back in the box. And we shall move on. This is a Fenton Bear. Now they're not worth a ton of money and they don't sell super duper quick, but this one's pretty cute. It has the red heart. I think the last one I had had a pink heart. It does have the original Fenton sticker on the bottom, even though this isn't going to show you. Uh, I think I got 15 out of the other one. It did sit for a little while, and I ended up selling it on Facebook. So, <laughs> I don't know. This one I'm just going to list on Facebook and see what it does. And then we got the, I, I looked it up as an oyster, and I think it's supposed to be like a clam or something. I just thought it was very bizarro. I think I paid six dollars for it it's pink the ones that i was finding online were um like wood wicker i don't know i think i'm gonna list it for 30 and see how it does these i didn't even show you because they were buried in the cart underneath that but they have a horse on them i paid five dollars for the set of two they are vintage they are made in the usa if i can get that to show which there we go made in usa I usually do pretty well with vintage cobalt glass. I think I'm going to put these up for, you know, I don't know, 20 bucks maybe. We'll see. 20 bucks I should be able to sell them fairly quickly. Oops, I don't know where to put these. And then we've got this super cute pink, like, granny squares, uh, little, like, throw blanket Afghan ordeal. And I paid five bucks for it. I shouldn't have any problem getting 25 plus shipping. So like you said, nothing like super crazy, but we did okay. And uh, on that note, I'm going to sign you guys off, and I'll see you on the next. Bye.